Hi everyone, I'm here to talk to you about our calendars today. We have finally gotten all of our customization and I wanted to show you around. So this is my email and the way that I get to my calendar is by going to calendar. And this is a view of what I normally see for my personal life uh, when I go onto my Google Calendar. I know not every one of you uses Google Calendar, but this should be a similar view even for those of you who use something else. So I have it set for a month. You can see a week at a time, or you can also show just a day at a time if you like. Now I'm going to go to our website. I have it bookmarked here, walgrave.com. And I'm going to show you how to add a calendar to your personal calendar. Um, if I go back to the tab while I wait and go to month, you'll see here that I have my ELC divisional calendar. And um, I don't need it anymore because my child's not in the ELC and the only one that I would like to see now is the junior school one. So I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to calendars. See here at the top. And I'm gonna scroll down to where I have the ELC division. I'm going to unsubscribe because I no longer want to see those dates. Yes, I'm sure I want to unsubscribe. And now my calendar is free from those dates. You can see that orange or purple one has disappeared. So now go back home. I've automatically been signed in. Click calendar. And I'm going to look to get the URL for the junior school calendar now. And this is how I'm going to add it to my personal calendar. We'll wait a little bit. While we're waiting, actually, I should show this to you. See on uh, how I'm signed in with my full name, and next to it, I have my portals. As a parent, I automatically have access to the student portal. As a faculty member, I automatically have access to the parent portal. So I can see what the parents see and make sure that you have the information you need when I'm a faculty member. So here it is, you'll notice the new view. Uh, we have it set up now by month. So I can scroll here to look at October if I want. Excuse the wait time, our internet is a little bit slow today. And see this little icon in the corner? This is our customization option. All right, we'll give it another second. And I'm going to be able to see on this calendar exactly what I want to see. I can add athletics, I can look at it just by division, I can add multiple divisions, and um, I'll show that to you in just a minute. Here we go. So here's the calendar filter. I'm going to untick ELC, athletics, middle school, senior school, so that all I can see here now is the junior school calendar. And that's what will populate here. But if I want it to populate in my actual personal calendar, I'm going to go here, here's the junior school calendar, right click, copy link address. I'm gonna go back to my calendar here. This is, these are the calendars that I have created and these are other calendars. You look for that little arrow and you add by URL. I'm gonna right click again and I'm going to paste and add the calendar. So now when I scroll down, if I can scroll down, here we go. I see the junior school divisional calendar, which has now been added, overlaid on my calendars. What I would suggest for parents is that they find the events, we'll look at this on a week by week basis. Let's say you want to add this Mulgrave public speaker series. So you want Al in November to go into your own calendar. I'm gonna go here, more actions, and I'm going to add to my personal calendar, save it, and now when I take away the junior school division, that event is in my personal calendar. So I can find it and see which things, uh, Mulgraves, that I want to attend. So I'm gonna go back, overlay it again, junior school division. And uh, this is my son's grade, Sea to Sky Outdoor School. So I actually edited it myself, sub at camp, but I could have gone here instead, clicked more actions, copy to Elizabeth Calderon, Save, and now that one has been saved to my personal calendar. And again, I can get rid of the overlay so that all I see are my personal events and not all of the events that the junior school has. You can do that, of course, for any of the divisions. You can also always leave it up if you like. Um, that is how you add it to your calendar.
And so you can do that for any of the divisions here. And, um, and you can also look at it month by month if you like for, on this view. Uh, last thing is its major calendar dates. If you wanted to look ahead, say to 2016-17, and see when the opening and closing dates are, so when we have our holidays, you can look at that PDF that will show up soon and uh, plan ahead so that you don't miss out on any school time. I hope this has been helpful. If uh, you have any questions, if you're not sure how to access this information, if you don't use Gmail or Google Calendar and you'd like some one-on-one -on -one help, we are here to help. So don't feel uh, nervous. Reach out to us. We're, we really want to support you and make sure that you have access to all of the information that you need.